Hey, what is up everyone? It is Jake Pimentel here from Pime Technology, and I'm sure many of you guys either own the LG Stylo 2 or are looking to buy the phone. Now, I did a review uh, about a few weeks back, and I even did a review on a case that is awesome for the LG Stylo 2, one of the cases that I use on the phone. So, in this video, I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks about the LG Stylo 2. Number one, pop menu. Right after you pull the stylus out of the LG Stylo 2, you will see this cool little pop menu thing come up and it's like four to five bubbles. And pretty much this is number one because it is extremely useful. You have pop menu, which allows you to do um, a little note. Uh, it'll just pop up above your screen. And then there's also capture plus, which will allow you to capture things and write on them. Um, there's also the pop scanner, which allows you to scan documents, etc. And the quick memo plus, which will allow you to take some more dedicated notes. And then I just do have Amazon photos. Yours might not have that or it may, um, but that you can just check your Amazon photos, uh, obviously. Next up, number two, double tap for camera. Similar to Samsung, LG has created an absolutely awesome way to easily access the camera on the LG Stylo 2. Pretty much this is for every LG device by the way, at least most of the newer phones that they've created. But pretty much all you have to do is click the volume down button twice, so one, two, and you will see the camera pop up. It is wicked easy and I wish it would work a little bit faster, but it is pretty quick. You know, I, I have to say it, it does help you easily get to the camera. So yeah, pretty much you can just down click uh, two times on the volume down button. Absolutely awesome way to get access to the camera. Number three, the battery saver. Although most smartphones today have a battery saver built in, I wanted to put this in because the LG Stylo 2, despite its budget price tag, still has a battery saving feature. If you go right ahead into the settings, you will see a battery kind of little icon. Click on that and you will go down to the bottom. It will say turn battery saver uh, mode on and you can basically manually turn it on or you can set it to turn on at like 10% or 15% so that when your device does get low on battery it automatically turns on or like I said if you want to keep it on all the time which I do not recommend you can go ahead and just manually switch it on and this does help save battery quite a bit um, and you know it powers down the screen a little bit and make, makes the processing a little slower but overall if you need the extra battery this will help number four get that app drawer back i'm sure many people are living without the app drawer on their lg devices right now but if you want to go ahead and get that back on the lg stylo 2 you can go ahead right into settings go to where it says about phone and go right in there and click update center it's going to show a bunch of lg apps that uh, need to be updated or have been updated and you can go ahead and just update the home UX there and basically it will give you your app drawer back. I know I like the app drawer and it's really easy to get it back. Number five, speed up the animations. If you want to speed up the animations, go ahead into settings, go all the way down to about phone, click the software info, go to baseband and just tap it actually build number and just tap it multiple times it'll say you are now a developer for me I'm already a developer so basically just said I'm still a developer and then you want to go ahead and go back and you want to go to developer options scroll about midway and you will see it say like um, transition yep transition animation scale you want to set all those to 0.5 so window animation scale transition and animator duration scale I'll set those all to 0.5 and you will notice a huge speed improvement um, with the animations you'll notice that they run a lot faster as you can see they're running a lot faster so that really helps if your LG Stylo 2 is slowing down a little bit last one using your hand 
to take a selfie. Taking a selfie is much easier than you would think on the LG Stylo 2. Sometimes you're in those situations where you can't just get your thumb onto the little camera button or you're unable to hit the volume buttons. In that case, you can actually use your hand to take a selfie. So basically just hold your hand up in the selfie and then it'll, it'll show you like if you want to take one picture or two pictures and then it'll just move your hand in that way whichever one you choose and basically it'll allow you to take selfies that is really really cool and this is convenient especially when you want to take um, a selfie maybe in a busy area or with a celebrity or something this makes it really really easy to get that selfie um, and just to put a little bit of a kind of um, caution thing out here uh, it may not work when you are um, may not work when you are in a dark situation so just be careful with that but pretty much it'll work in most instances all right so that's going to be about it for this video everyone if you guys enjoyed this video definitely leave it a like up down below also make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. I'm gonna have some more LG Stylo 2 videos coming soon, so definitely subscribe to the channel. Also, share this video with your friends so they can see some cool things that they can do to their LG Stylo 2. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the support. Some because you and technology are amazing, and peace out.